Happy Thursday morning, Cyclone Fanatics. As promised yesterday afternoon, Tim Sitzman and I are back here yeah. at Mr. B's. We're back, and I just got back from New York. Had a great time of buying for uh, next spring. We're buying goods. You're buying next spring next already? Next spring already. I'm a, I'm a forward thinker. You know, I, I, I want to be more looking in the future and less historian. So I'm looking in the future. You're looking in the future in Absolutely. today's vlog, too. Yeah. It's, it's fun. It's fun, isn't it? Yeah, well, we're making picks today. Isn't football great? I love football because you can talk about it year-round. Absolutely. Always stuff going on. Um, Tim, game number two. You, well, first of all, Tim's got Iowa State at 1-0. and He's got them beating Northern Illinois by a field goal. Right. Um, got the clones at 1-0. This gets tougher. You know? this, this, this is well, getting tougher. Tim might not be as popular of a dude here. <laughs> at the end of the show, you might not like me. Yeah. Game two at the University of Iowa. This is going to be a nationally televised football game. It's a potential top ten Iowa team, which we, we probably think it, it probably will be. Um, Tim, you got Ricky Stanzi and the boys on offense. A good crop of running backs for the University of Iowa. They have some question marks on the offensive line. That's a that's a question. You're going to have a weaker Iowa offensive line, which you know it's still solid. Let's, let's all be honest. Going up against a pretty weak Iowa State defensive right. line, so I don't know how much Iowa State can take advantage of that matchup, if at all. Uh, but boy, you got those you got those hog mollies on the Hawkeye defense. Right. This is a game where. Iowa State has to play a perfect football game. They have to create some turnovers, and Iowa's got to really struggle. Something like they did against Northern Iowa last year, in my opinion, that's the only shot Iowa State has. Where do you right. see this one? Well, I wish it was at Jack Trice, first of all. Mm -hmm. I wish we were at home for game two. That's why it was easy to pick, easier to pick the first one. But I look at that Hawkeye team, and I see very few weaknesses. You pointed out the offensive line. I totally agree. But, you know, Kurt Ferentz is, is historically, I'm a historian all of a sudden, mm -hmm. he's always come up with some some kind of offensive line that he knows how to coach and no. brings. He's, he's famous for that. He, they'll be fine, and and they're going to be fine. Uh, I I you know I, I know you fanatics out there look at that schedule, and I look at it from here on in as there's no weak sisters out there. We, no. We're going to have a tough. We're going to have to tighten the chin straps all the way through. Uh, I'm I'm going to I'm trying to hold off because I'm really thinking this through. I like to pick the clones. I really would, but I, it's just in my heart of hearts. I don't. I would love to say they're going to win this game. I just don't see on paper where that's going to happen. I, when you're going into uh, Carver and uh, I mean, excuse me, Carver. When you're going into uh, Kinnick Stadium with the the uh, aspirations that the Hawkeyes are going to have this year, I, I look at it as a very very close game. Turnovers could be crucial for for the Clones, and they have an opportunity if the turnovers are there. If the defense back can get Stanzi uh, in trouble, mm -hmm. uh, there is a possibility for an upset. But I, I think it's a 10 point Iowa win. Yeah, well, and I, I think that that's a very fair prediction yeah that's a very fair prediction uh, Vegas I think already has it out it's either it's 14 or 17 points yeah uh, I, the favor so you're picking Iowa State to cover which traditionally if you look in the books that's a good pick yeah I, I think they're going to cover and I think they're going to show up I think this is a this is a big game for uh, for for Cyclones always has been but the the, the the talk of it is it's not a big game for Iowa I, I take I take offense to that I think it's just as big a game for the Hawkeyes as, as, as the clones and they're going to be up for it too well so, you're darn right because when you're a Hawk fan and you're talking you're throwing those uh, national title lines out there every game's a big game you can't you can't sleep on Iowa State Northern Iowa what what happens if Northern Iowa beats Iowa last uh, year whole thing you're, not, you're not in a BCS game the whole thing changes yeah. And there's a lot, and you and I know this, Chris, there's a lot There's a lot of talent on both sides of the ball, or they wouldn't be in Division One football. And there's a lot of luck involved. Iowa had a very lucky season. They beat a, a Michigan State team in the last seconds. Mm -hmm. they, beat, they beat you and I, uh, which they, they lost on the field and won the score. Yeah. So, and that happens. That happens in football. But I, I just think this year they're a more mature team. They're going. They're the only weakness probably is in that offensive line a little bit in the defense, but I think they they got players to fill it. I don't see a lot of weakness and a lot of depth there. So you know when you see them in the top ten almost everywhere, mm -hmm. they're they're a solid football team. And Iowa State will, will grow to be that kind of competitor. I see it a very very tough tough fought game because it's an interstate rival as we all know and. It, but I, I, I'm still sticking with that 10-point game. I'm not going to shoot a score out there because I think it could be a high-scoring game mm -hmm. if both offenses get going. Well, yeah, and one thing to keep in the back of your mind if you're a Cyclone fan, even if you're a Hawkeye fan who's watching this, which sure. we welcome you to do. Right. Um, you know, Austin Arnott played the worst game of his career Ter last year terrible. against Iowa. That whole Iowa State offense was just god-awful. 
right. last year against the Hawks. And you also had Adrian Claiborne, and I'm not going to throw any more gas on that fire. No. He made the comments in the paper oh, yeah, right. a couple weeks ago that were pretty disrespectful toward Iowa State. Uh, Iowa State's always motivated to play Iowa. I don't. I, this I, year, I, I, maybe a little more. I think a little more, not necessarily because of what Claiborne said, but because I, I really think, you know, I know Austin are not pretty well. I've covered him since he was a junior at Ames High School. The young man is going to be extremely motivated, I think a little bit more, Austin, against Iowa because he played terrible last Austin year. Austin will be motivated. Austin's going to be a quality Big 12 player this year, unbelievable. Very nice young man. In fact, we had him at Mr. B's uh, last year. He stopped in, yeah, huh? Very nice to have him in, and a great young man and a, a great character of a, a football player, and mm-hmm. I, I think the world of him, and I hope that he has a, a break, not that he needs a breakout season because he's had a great season, but mm-hmm. a breakout season for him. He, he's a terrific athlete. Yeah. Uh, but there's, you know, the, the, you get in the you get in the trenches and and the cheap talks always going on, and that's kids. And, yeah. and and if they need that for motivation to win, I think that's wrong. I think Iowa State's going to come very motivated, and I think Iowa's got the. It's a great game and a great rivalry, and I would love nothing more than to see an upset there. I just I just don't see it right now this time. It's just too much against them. But I, you know, turn over here, there. You know, who thought you and I'd be a three to three at the? You know, who, you don't know. You don't know. Well, we're all looking forward to it. It's my favorite day of the year. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Iowa citizen, I absolutely love it. Tim, um, tent sale uh, going on. Wow, you, you what got a, a tent lot sale. happening right now at Mr. B. I always say wow because when we get to these prices and it's the last sale of the year. I mean, for for the spring season, you must see some of these things. And you come out under the big white tents uh, that are going on the last three days of this month. I think you'll find a lot of great bargains and some great quality clothing for you, uh, whether you're going back to college or you just need some new clothes for your wardrobe. Stop by. All right, sounds good. Uh, that's Tim Sitzman. When we come back next week, we're going to continue rolling down the 2010 Iowa State Cyclone football schedule. Tim's going to give his picks. I'm going to give a little bit of analysis what on a each fun, and every team. What a fun time of the year, and it's good, it's good to be back in football season. It, it sure is. We're working our way. Media Day coming up in like three, four weeks, believe it or wow. not. So we're pumped up about that. Uh, 1995 Northwest 86th Street in beautiful Clive, Iowa. Uh, he's Tim Sitzman. I'm Chris Williams saying so long.